Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to the Pearl of Wisdom Show, Betting Edition. Beep how picks, yo. Head over there. Um, and to all of you that commented in the comment section and got the free month this month, you can still do it. Put a comment down there, any comment I'll offer you. I'll send the link, give the link to you. You sign yourself up to the uh, premium package. You might as well since it's free. And uh, go check it out. It's lots of fun. There's lots of people that did it. I'm, all of you are getting a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace sent directly to your door by Melissa or and or Hernandez. Uh, so there you have that too, right? Of course. Um, this weekend, this past weekend, we just got some new people and they didn't see my best. But I guess I, I talked to a lot of cappers and a lot of people got raked over the coals this weekend. I didn't necessarily get raked over the coals. I'm about two and a half units down, maybe three. Um, tennis picks weren't even that great, actually. I just went on a, on a run of uh, 0 for 3 on my tennis picks. But, I mean, overall, I'm 96 and 50 or something like that. So, doing pretty well. Hockey picks were running about just under 70%. Now, remember, when I say that, those are not my large pearl picks, as I like to call them over at Patreon. Uh, I, I pretty much put picks in for almost every game. So... If I'm running at 65% on every single game, then that's pretty darn good odds. Find a copper out there that runs 65% on every game. Last year, I ran 75%. So we got lots of picks to do. I was going to go over what uh, a few of the things that happened on the weekend. Ottawa, Winnipeg lost to Ottawa, and that ruined a lot of people. I, I got my eye on this Winnipeg team. Um, I, I, I said it and now I'm sticking to it. I found something fishy when they traded away Lion A. If you can't keep Lion A happy, I, ha I have a difficult time thinking you're going to be able to be a team that can win a cup. I'll say that. If you want to hear more about that, uh, tomorrow I do uh, my live show on this channel from 3 to 5 Eastern Time. And I'm doing it tomorrow too. So you can go over there and check it out. I'll talk about all that type of information and frolic and all of that. And we, it's interactive. So you can like talk to me and I talk to you and or whoever I have on, which tomorrow sounds like I'll have Peyton on the radio on. Smart kid. Really like the kid. It's awesome. So uh, subscribe, bell, send you the Mayan Shell Pearls of Wisdom necklace. And here's a little Pearlo dance for you to get your Monday rocket. Even though it's a day off, but still, you should have it. Try it. You try it. Come on. John off the wall. Come on. You can do it. Stick in the mud. Okay. Let's go look at our picks for tomorrow. Uh, St. Louis at Arizona. In the morn. Um... First of all, you remember I'm not I'm doing these without knowing true goaltender confirmations. There is no goaltender confirmations. I use left wing lock. Here we go. Let's go. Just take one more look because this is happening right now. Uh, Bennington and Kemper is what I would think it was going to be. I can't see why it wouldn't be that. Um, so with that in mind. Go back to the odds here. I like Arizona here simply because Kemper's a better goaltender. St. Louis has been on the road. This is six days in a row they've been on the road. They managed to scrape a couple, a win or two against Arizona here, but I think on the final day with Kemper in, I'm going to lean Arizona. As far as the total, I'm going to keep on going the under here. Although Arizona's had some surprising offense in some of these games, um, I'm still going to lean the under. Arizona's just is going to outwork you, and if you're tired, like Arizona probably or St. Louis probably is here, then um, 
I could see them definitely outworking them. The other thing is, is St. Louis has some injuries. Sunquist is a big one. I really like Sunquist. I've said it over and over and over again. I don't know why he doesn't have more of a role. But look at the injuries. I mean, that's not much. I don't Blay, Thomas, Sanford, Scandella, Bozak. I mean, they're not super significant, but there's a lot of injuries. So you have a lot of players playing in places where they normally wouldn't. And I would imagine are getting a little tired after being on the road for so long. Hence the reason why I'm going with Arizona here. Uh, New York Islanders versus Buffalo. Okay, Buffalo is, and we just saw with the Colorado game, which I had Vegas uh, today. Um, the game earlier I messed up on. I had Washington. Um, I did have the over, but I had Washington, and I kicked myself for that um, because they hadn't played in a week. And this is the same thing for Buffalo. So with that in mind, and the Islanders seeming to turn around here a little bit, the weird thing about the Islanders this year is they're playing a lot of overs. And um, I think that may change here. I'm going to go back to the under again. I'm going to take the Islanders ML and the under, um, mostly because Buffalo will likely be out of whack. Also, let's take a look at Buffalo's injuries as well as they were on COVID protocol. So there could be a lot of guys that are still going to be on protocol. Look at all the guys here. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't even say who's going to be back out of these guys. So I definitely would be leaning early here to the Islanders. Like I said, is one of their goaltenders? No, one of their goaltenders aren't on here. So Linus Omar will probably be playing. If you go over to Patreon, sign yourself up. You get all this information as the day goes on because I give it to people. That's that's just one of the services we provide over at BPAL Picks Industries there, my friends. Uh, okay, Carolina versus Columbus. Now, this is a tough, this is a tough pick. Um Merzlikin should be in here. Carolina is rolling in such a way, is su in such a way right now, though, that it's kind of hard not to pick them, especially at home. Um, they don't have mer really many significant injuries at the moment. I think Columbus is going to turn things around, but I don't think this is a spot where they're going to do it. However, Merzlikins is going to be in net. I don't know who's going to be in net for Carolina. If I were them, I'd be keeping go. I keep on going back to uh, Nedeljkovic the way he's been playing, but I have a feeling it will be Reimer here. So I like. I'm going to take Carolina on the ML. Um, but what are you getting on the spread for Columbus? One sixty one. You know, either one of those. And uh, it's going to depend on who's in net. If Merzlikens is in net, Carolina, uh, I, I really like the way Merzlikens was playing before he got injured. I think I'm going to lean the under here, but it's, to me it's a very fady game. Uh, did I have the under? Yeah, I did have the under. Okay, Lightning versus the, the Blue Jackets. I faded the last game with the Lightning, however with the Lightning Florida when the Lightning romped Florida. Now, I don't think there's going to be a romp here. I don't know what they're going to be doing for goaltenders. That's my main issue with this one is the goaltending situation. Um, Bobrovsky, are, are they going to keep on rolling with Bobrovsky? Or are they going to give him a different look and go with Drigger? It's That's going to be significant in my choice here. I think I'm going to just go with Tampa ML. It doesn't pay much, uh, but it's probably going to come through at home against Florida. And it's going to depend on the goaltender. I don't trust Bobrovsky. Which is five and a half probably, right? What did I write down here? I think I, wrote, I, I did the over. 
uh, total, Steve, total, total Perlo. Uh, over. Under pays two, over pays 183. I guess I'll go over, but I'm really not sure. Ottawa, Toronto. The one thing for sure about this game is uh, I would go the under on this game. I, I, I honestly don't see too many games going over for the rest of the season. That's the reason why I didn't take the over in the Washington-Pittsburgh game. If there ever was going to be an over, that would be it, and I still wasn't going to be sure about it. Hogberg is going to be in net here. I said, I've been saying, Hogberg's going to turn things around. Don't worry about it. They're going to turn things around. Um, I definitely got to take Toronto here in regulation. But Hogberg has turned it around. Ottawa is playing a much better brand of hockey now, and I, I, I figured they would. I didn't think they'd keep on being as porous as they were before. In reg here, only doesn't really pay all that much juice. If you're really comfortable, go with the PL, um, which is possible as well. But like I said, Ottawa has playing a lot better. Uh, they have had rest here. Both teams are fairly rested in this spot. So, um, yeah, Toronto and regulation. Did I not write this one down? Oh, I guess I didn't. Uh, oh, yeah, I did. No, Detroit, Chicago. I did, You know what? I didn't write this down. Um, I'm going to go Chicago here, ML. And as far as the over-under, it's going to... Last time they played game, they surprisingly played Bernier on me. I would have went the over. It was Grice the whole way, and then Bernier was in that. I would have went the over, and it wasn't over. It burned me on the weekend. But I did have Detroit, so that was good. But I don't think Detroit's going to be Chicago here. I'll take Chicago. If Grice is in net, I'm going to lean the under at five, five and a half, I'm sure. I'm going to lean the under. Just because Detroit really, uh, Lankinen will probably be in. Detroit will have a hard time scoring against Lankinen. And uh, just in general, they have a hard time scoring. So Chicago in the under. Nashville versus Dallas. Uh, I'm going to go Dallas in regulation for two. Uh, Nashville's just been terrible to watch. Uh, they have no heart on that team right now. Um, no pushback, no belief in themselves. It's it's a mess there in Nashville. There's going to be, you know, if it doesn't turn around soon, and it, anything can happen, there's going to be a mass exodus out of Nashville in terms of players, maybe Poyle being gone and all of that. Now, Dallas has been inconsistent too, but I just, this just seems like a game that they're going to feast on. They have the size advantage up front, everything. So I got Dallas, and I do believe I took the under here. Yeah, under, because I don't think Nashville will score enough. That's the only reason why I got the under. Winnipeg, Edmonton, I'm taking Winnipeg, Edmonton, I'm taking the under all day here. That's my main pick here is uh, is the under. Uh, just Hollabuck's going to be in net. If that changes, maybe I change my mind. Corpus Allo's had some rest. I And Winnipeg's kind of shooting blanks right now. So I think the combination of that will give you the under. And I'm going to take the uh, ML on Edmonton at home here. I kind of like the way they're rolling. They're starting to see their game come around. Um, I think dry, I, I, I really, I just, um, Dubois is hurt. And um, I'm Shifley Stastny against McDavid and Dreisaitl. Just, I'm not warm to that. So I'm gonna take Edmonton. Also, Winnipeg is not the greatest defense. It's Hollabuck that's gonna save Going to keep it down. Uh, Calgary versus Vancouver. Um, I got the Canucks ML. I've said it all along that the, I believe the Canucks are going to turn things around. Um, I haven't changed my mind on that. I do believe the Canucks are going to turn things around. And it's going to keep on rolling against Calgary. Uh, Jeff Ward is doing a great job with this club. Markstrom will probably be in net. And I imagine they'll go back to Demko. 
Um, again, this could change if um, this could change if uh, Holtby's in net. I, I I hope they don't go back to Holtby too often. You're getting 205 on that, so that's a pretty good uh, deal. I'm gonna also go keep on going with the under based on the fact that you're going um, Demko versus Markstrom again. Markstrom has been playing very well. Uh, I think the under uh, under six for that. If Holtby is in net, or if Calgary goes with uh, their backup, which his name is... Oh, I... Anyways, he's terrible. Uh, then I go the over, is all I'm saying there. Uh, Anaheim versus San Jose. I got Anaheim here. Anaheim here, ML. Um, just San Jose just looks terrible right now. And Gibson's going to be in net. Um, I don't know if I'd bet a lot on it, but I, I, I like the juice at 210 if you just throw a half a unit on it or something like that. Um, because Gibson's in net too, I'll also, and Anaheim doesn't really have all that much offense, even though San Jose's defense is porous, I don't think Anaheim's going to be able to score enough to push this to the over. What is the, and I imagine that'll be 5.5. So total 5.5. Yeah. I wouldn't put a huge money on either one of these games, but that's what I would play. Well, boys and girls, that's our full 42 here at Pearls of Wisdom Industries. Uh, I, uh, I hope you're enjoying this fine programming where I'm bringing you. Put your comments down in the comment section. Get yourself a free premium uh, month, rest of the month there for uh, BPAL. Go have fun. Go check out the Frolic. Tennis picks, uh, NCAA. Um, we are 6-3. and three. Uh, Basketball, I believe we're 11-7. and seven. So, you know, good, good. And our major, our major picks come through a lot. People are making money. And most of all, the frolic, my friends. Oh, the frolic. You think this is frolic, and I know you do. It's even more so over there. Anyways, because I kind of lost a little bit over the weekend, I got to go over to Perlo's house of spanking. Get myself some spanking. Set myself up for tomorrow. You guys should all do the same. Head over there. I'll give you a free gift certificate right now. Here you go. There you go. You just go there. Tell them uh, Perlo sent you. And they'll say, okay, you come right on in. And Because every, everybody needs spanking every once in a while, don't they? They sure do. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to ya. Okay, bye.